Looks like we're getting Valorant on console. That's according to this job listing on Riot's website looking for a console developer for Valorant. The job listing is for an associate console playtest analyst for Valorant specifically. It requires focus on validation testing of upcoming gameplay experiences for Valorant. And this isn't a joke, it's actually happening now. We already know that they've got a Valorant mobile version that's being released and there's a lot of gameplay on the internet about that and it's currently in development. So it makes sense that they would be moving Valorant over to console, which could be Xbox and PlayStation. Let's not talk about Switch. But will it be good? Or will it just be some bloatware that nobody actually plays? And dare I say this, and I know a lot of people are gonna be upset, but will it be cross-platform with PC? And how is the core community going to take that? I'm gonna get into some thoughts as to why I think it's actually a really good idea, but I wanna hear what you think first. So let me know in the comments below if you think that this is a direction that Riot Games should go in, or is it something that they should completely forget about? And what does that mean for the future of Valorant? On a side note, if you're interested in the job spec, I'm gonna include a link in the description below so you can apply, you know, just make sure that you've got some of these required qualifications. You're gonna need some uh, professional experience on console FPS games, a high level understanding of micro and macro decisions required to optimize Valorant gameplay so that you've got an understanding of the game and it's gotta be really, a really good understanding. Here's my favorite part of the job spec. You're gonna need to be currently ranked in Valorant right now at Radiant. So that already ruins my chances of this job. So I guess I can't apply. But according to the post, you're going to have to have a bunch of other responsibilities, which include providing evidence-based feedback to show where their upcoming changes accomplish their specific goals or not, supported defining objectives and finding conclusions from play tests, take detailed direction to complete required tasks. This is a, a QA job, so that's the kind of thing you need a QA job. And it's only gonna be a six month contract. That doesn't mean that the job is going to take six months to complete. I think a lot of people might have that misconception, but it's usually like an interim time for them to understand whether you're you're good for the job or when you fit into the team or whether it's a, an effective role for you or if they should just find somebody else to replace you with. One of the things that I actually really admire about this job application is that Riot have asked quite extensively here if the person applying for the job embodies player empathy and care about players' experiences because obviously that's important for Riot when they set out to employ and develop their games. That means they care about us, right? And this is one of those job specs where I think a lot of people are gonna have that knee-jerk reaction where they are upset with the outcome, where this outcome is a console game and why aren't they working on the PC version? You gotta be based in LA for this to, to work for you and, and that's where the offices are, so I don't think they're relocating anybody. Uh, you've gotta kind of just be there. I think there are a lot of people with those qualifications in the area, so uh, I don't think they're gonna have a lot of uh, problem filling filling this job in. I know a lot of you are thinking that this is a terrible decision and that Riot should just back off, just, you know, rewind what they're doing. Maybe they're copying what the, the external market is, is, is leading, you know, games like Fortnite, and Call of Duty, and it doesn't really apply to Valorant because Valorant is a different type of game. But I think it's, you know, Valorant thrives currently on really exciting and experienced core PC gameplay. Really strong aiming mechanics that require mouse and keyboard. That's like the basis of the game. And we've had this in the past, right? We've had stuff like CSGO that used to be on console. Remember, they actually released a console version of the game. And then they ditched it because not many people would play it. And, you know, CS and Valorant are very similar. They're kind of the same genetic material. So does that mean that Valorant is uh, right or investing Valorant uh, in the wrong space? Or is this gonna have the same future as CSGO? But I think we live in a completely different era. And the era is Fortnite and Call of Duty. And you might think that those are fads in the way that they are producing their games. But there's very strong reasons why Epic have made sure that Fortnite is available on everything. And that Call of Duty wants to be on every console and every PC that can actually play it. And that's got 200 gigs of hard drive space on it. Because of those two games specifically, actually, and I, I really admire what Epic have done, is that cross-platform experiences are getting much better than they were when CSGO was, was launched on console. And the goal here is more players, right? You wanna have more people playing your game, not less, because the fewer people playing the game means that the game's eventually going to die. Overwatch had a similar problem and they had to port to pretty much every other medium. Let's not talk about uh, the Switch version. And the main reason console is so attractive is that console is way more accessible than PCs. PCs can be really expensive. 
it's a massive purchase. But consoles are generally either a fraction of the price or generally the cost of the cheapest PC and are all in one. And that experience on console is kind of guaranteed. I've said this before, but I don't think Valorant in its current state is built right now for a lot of potentially very exciting monetization schemes like, like skins or even cross-platform. But I think that maybe there's a chance that Valorant 2 might be that space. And maybe I should make a separate video about that. Something similar to what Overwatch did. And I think that if they do launch on console, they need to start thinking about cross-platform because segmenting the, the community is actually bad. It's bad for lobbies and it's bad for the experience of friends playing together. And the expectation of a lot of gamers is that they are going to be able to play with their friends and family regardless of the console or the machine that they're playing on. If they do segment the community, unfortunately, I think that is where it might go the route of CSGO, where it just has to be culled on those platforms because the core community, at least the core competitive community, is on PC. Right now, there's no timeline on when this is going to happen and when this is going to go down, but it's very clear that Riot are thinking and considering console as a viable direction for Valorant. And I do believe quite strongly that Valorant as a cross-platform game is really important for the growth of the title. How that's going to work and how that's going to look is up to us as a core community to see and, and to decide and how Riot actually end up building this. But like the job spec says, they have us, the players, in mind. And that's kind of how they're in, in hiring in this position, which is really exciting. It gives me a lot of faith that they are going to do this properly, or at least they're setting out to do this properly, and they are aware that this is going to be a very challenging project from the outset, not only to win a lot of us over that are core PC gamers, but also to adopt a whole brand new bunch of gamers that may not have touched Valorant. So what do you think? Is this going to be a game that you download? I'll actually, I'm really excited to see. I wish we could put polls in these videos because I really think that I'm not the only one who thinks that this might be a really good idea. I'll see you in another video. Cheers.